Hey my friends, what's going on? Kato here on a beautiful, beautiful day. What's going on with your life? What's going on with your life? How you doing? How you feeling? Pound that for watching this video. Pow. So in this video today, guys, I want to talk about one thing that's costing you hundreds of dollars, even thousands of dollars, even hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars. And this is saving. I know saving is a good thing that most people would think about. But if you get in started, if you're starting out your life, I'm telling you, it's one of the worst things. And I'm gonna tell you, let me explain what I mean inside of this video, okay? Poor people save money, rich people invest money. I did not understand that until I started business for myself and start realizing, oh my God, this is what I shifted in my life. So right now, if you just think about, I'm just gonna save my day, I'm gonna save for a rainy day, I'm just gonna save my money, you will never get wealthy. And I have to understand that. So if you're trying to build a business right now, you're trying to build yourself, you need to start shifting that mindset. Let me explain to you what happened to me. When I first started my business, right, the first thing that I did was investing into myself, right? So investing, let's break it down. The first investment that you're gonna have to do is the investment into yourself. So the education that I got from my parents, so when I was growing up with my parents, the all that I've learned was, okay, we're gonna go to work, you know, get a good job, go to work and save money. But what started to happen is that all the saving was never enough money. Every time they save it, something happened for a rainy day, the rainy day happened, now there's no more money left. There's no more money and that happened with so many broke people they think about I'm gonna save money I'm gonna save my way to wealth it's not gonna happen you cannot save your way to wealth you want to invest so my first my first actually experience with investing money was when I was going to school I got introduced to a system the to a system that allowed me to make money online the system was not a lot of money so it's an investment into self right so I spent $40 on the system. It was my first time going to a training. I spent $40 on it, on the system itself, and I spent, I think, about a hundred. So total of $140 into a system, right? I went to the system. The first, it took me about a week or two learning, implementing the system, implementing the stuff that I was doing when I started my first business, which was affiliate marketing business. And then boom, in the first day after I implemented the system, I made $100. I was like, what? I made $100? While I was in class, while I was out, I'm like, whoa, this is crazy. So in the first week, I, I, I went in. So what I did after I invested $100, I had a return on investment. See, that's the difference between saving and investing. Saving most likely does not give you a return on investment. So you're not playing the game right. If you save $100, at the end of the month, you're going to have $100, right? If I had saved my $100, at the end of the month, I'm going to have $100. If I had saved $20,000 at the end of the year, I'm going to have $20,000. Now, saving is not a bad thing, but it's not the best thing, right? Investment, when I invested $100, on the first week, I ended up making my first $1,600 with that system because I invested into an education. I invested into a system. I learned it. And then of course it took some work because it was a lot of work equity because I didn't have no money to invest. I was very young. I was just getting started with my business. So I didn't have much money or anything like that to invest. So I ended up making my first $4,000 a month because of a $140 investment. So you take $140 versus $4,000, that's a big difference. That's what you call return on investment. If I had saved $140, I would have never made that $4,000, right? So fast forward, another time that I had to spend. So after I got my business going, I invested into a mentor. The first mentor that I invested in, his price was $5,000 to actually go to a mastermind, met a bunch of people that was actually working on business, making money online. So I remember um, I had to travel halfway across the states. So I live in Florida, I have to travel all the way to Denver, which was on the other side of town. It was about a five or six or eight hour flight. I've never been on the West Coast. So I had to spend $5,000 for the mastermind and also spend another $1,000 on flight. And I had to pay about another $1,000 for hotel and I had to spend on food and everything. So it cost me about almost $10,000, eight to $10,000. And mind you, at that time when I first started my business, 
I literally was just making a little bit of money here and there. Things wasn't going like great, that great, you know, because yeah, I had beginner's luck in the beginning. I had a system that I implement, right? I followed something, but things started to shift. So when I got into that airplane and got there, I'm talking about the, the first time I invested into a mentor. I invested $5,000, got to California, got in a room. There's a bunch of people that are making millions of dollars in the business talking in the room. And I'm like, oh my God, this is crazy. So when I got to speak to him, he gave me one advice. He said, Kato, what do you know how to do? I said, hey, I know how to get traffic and leads. I'm using this website right now and I'm helping people with YouTube. And he said, why don't you monetize your knowledge? Charge people for it. Boom, create a course, boom. I, I listened to him, went outside, made a video, created a course, boom, I had my first $100,000 a month. Now imagine, I invested $10,000, right? About eight to 10K the month before the next month because of one advice and one blueprint he gave me, I did my first $100,000 a month. Now, I could have kept my $10,000, I would have never get the 100K advice which had followed and I took action on it and that changed my life. So some of you right now that are thinking that, yeah, I'm just gonna save my money. Um, saving is not what the wealthy people do. People that are rich, they look to invest their money. They're looking for return on investment. For example, when I started getting a bunch of credit cards and I told one of my friends, hey, I'm getting those Amex cards, I'm getting all those cards right now and I am trying to use these money and invest them, you know? And if I have some businesses that I have sometimes, they need scaling. So if I have a business that, that needs scaling, so if you have a business, let's say right now, you know, every time you spend a dollar, you're making two dollars. If it's if it's like, yo, it's guaranteed, every time I put a dollar, I get two dollars out. That's a good investment. That needs scaling. So if I was playing a game with you, every time you give me one dollar, I give you two dollars. How many times would you be willing to play that game with me? Let me know in the comment section below. If I was playing a game with you, every time I give you a dollar, every time you give me a dollar, I give you two dollars, how many times would you play that game with me in a day? Like, exactly, as many times as possible because the return on investment, the investment is bringing return, it's a 100% return. Why wouldn't you do that? So, exactly. I load up on those cards and I start scaling my businesses that are in profit mode. So if I have a business where I'm making $2, I'm going to put, if I put $1, it makes $2. Well, guess what? I'm going to put $20,000 and make 40. I'm going to put $50,000 and make 100K. So that's how you have to start thinking about your money, not just saving it, but investing it. I remember going to college, the first college that I went to. Like I didn't learn those education. You know, you went to school, I start spending all this money into college. First college I went to, I think it was $13,000 a semester. So you spend $13,000 a semester plus books and all this other stuff, right? For two years, um, I spent in that college, so it was like $36,000 a year. So 36 a year, that's like 72. For the two years that I spent it, that's $72,000 which when I came out, I could not use that education. I could not even make money out of that. Some other stuff you might use them to actually get educated, but what's costing a lot of people money is that they thinking by saving their way, they can save, save their way to wealth. So if you are watching this video, what you need to think is about how can you invest? Rich people, they take the money, they invest the money that creates more cash flow always thinking about investing. If you start making money, start investing. Investing into the market space, investing into business. The first investment is going to be yourself. If you don't have the education, I highly recommend. Every year I spend hundreds of thousands of dollars in mentorship, in programs, in business courses, and learning and sharpening my, my skills so that I can get better at what I do. So if you're going to get to the next level you are your best investment because without you every other investment don't matter because you're not there to enjoy it so if you want to grow if you don't have the knowledge yet first you want to invest into yourself so you can get the knowledge get the tools get the stuff that's required get the needs get the mentorship get the programs once you get that invest into the market that you're trying to go into, invest into the market, invest into businesses, invest into things that's gonna bring you a return back on investment. Stop saving your money. Now, once you start investing and it makes you money, so if you have $100, let's say you have $1,000 you invested, 
If you have a thousand dollars, you keep it, you don't invest it for the whole year. At the end of the year, you're gonna have a thousand dollars. Well, it's not a bad thing, right? You didn't use your money, you didn't spend it. Some people say, Yeah, I'm holding it, I got my thousand dollars, I didn't do anything with it. Let's say for me, for example, if I take a thousand dollars, I invest it, and the next month I got two thousand dollars. Well, that's two thousand dollars, right? And in the next month, if I invest the two thousand dollars, I got four thousand dollars, and I do that consecutively for 12 months. 12 months, I might end up with 50K. Well, yeah, you still keep your 1K, but I'm at 50K. Now, when investing, there's a possibility of loss also, but again, you're gonna start managing your risk. This is where knowledge comes into play. This is where you gotta learn, because now you gotta learn the risk that you're gonna take. Some investment won't bring the money that you want, some will. So that's the game to play saving is costing you a lot of money start investing into yourself start investing into your business start investing into your future and take it to the next level anyway that was your boy kid if you do enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up um join my facebook group myb challenge um join my facebook group monetize your brand where i teach you exactly how to monetize your brand and take it to the next level all right so i'll see you guys on the next one see you guys later.